What is this cultural slip and slide? So let's talk about business. Business is a funny thing, right? On the surface, obviously, it seems to be about making money. Ultimately, any business owner knows the question you have to answer day after day is, are we making money, right? But if we go one step further, we must ask ourselves, why do we need this money? Why as a business organization do we care? If tomorrow our business was gone, what would the world lose? So this is where we get into that higher purpose, right? The true purpose of your business. And the answer is, it's your legacy. So how are you impacting the world? And you can only impact the world by impacting people. So ultimately, how many people's lives did you change for the better? Doing whatever you, your business does. You know, as a business, if we employ people, we have the privilege of giving our people the ability to provide for their families. You are giving people the ability to contribute to something greater than themselves and a higher purpose to believe in which is ultimately the human experience we're all desiring, is it not? So if that's the dream, if that kind of workplace is, is the ultimate vision, so what is this culture slip? How do we go from this perfectly beautiful idea, you know, this built in my garage dream of changing the world to one that is driven by profits or accounting? Like at what point do we lose sight of this dream or higher purpose as we grow? So, I've narrowed it down to three slips, right? The first slip, first thing that happens is things get hard, right? And when things get hard, if you don't know exactly who we are and who we want to be as individuals, how can we know as a team? And if we don't know as a team, how can we make choices that align with this identity of this organization when things get tough, right? For example, do we take that contract with that shady client just because we need the funds? Uh, do we lay off people because a spreadsheet says we have to without looking for creative solutions first, right? Tough times cause people to choose an easy path. And these actions reflect a lack of connection to these foundational values, right? Being true to your values, make no mistake, it is the hard path, but it is a righteous one. For some, it is the only one. So the question is, is that you? Second slip. When you are a small business, you, the owner, make hiring decisions, right? Whether you know it or not, you find people who share the same values and energy and you engage with them as partners, collaborators, employees, whatever. At some point, this gets a bit convoluted. You need this skill or that skill and this endless dance between skill set and fit begins. So if you don't understand who you are as an organization and what your purpose is and what your values are, it's easy to get caught up in personalities that may not reflect your true values. For example, do you value performance or relationships? Strict execution, flexible innovation. You start to see how this matters. Third slip. Even if you have been able to avoid the first one and the second one, the third one is always lurking around the corner. If you grow and are successful, Eventually, someone other than you, the owner, the visionary, the starter, will hire somebody. That person, whoever they are, although he or she may have an intimate understanding of your culture, they can't help but to put their own perspective on it, right? And so on and so forth. So every time this happens, the original identity is diluted a tiny bit. The only way to combat this is to define exactly who you are and who you want to be and to reinforce it again and again and again and again in cascading repetition of messaging. So even when people are putting their own spin on things, the core identity is so strong and so evident that it, it doesn't allow for any dilution or change. But even this gets you so far, you have to back it up with your actions especially in hard times. And these are the stories that shape a culture, right? And this goes back to slip one. What are you gonna do when things are hard? So there you have your answer, right? If you wanna avoid this slip, look inward, know who you are and who you want to be both as an individual and as an organization. And sometimes it's pretty tough looking in the mirror. Avoid the slip, know your purpose and what the world loses if you don't exist and be proud of that. To avoid the slip, define these things and define them well. 
Reinforce that with cascading messaging and plaster it everywhere. And then finally, take the hard path when you need to because you know it's the right thing to do. That's it. Easy, right?